messages other people of similar age around the same time. They then show a screenshot that I posted of Ivory talking about the cringer furry stuff with someone else. Ivory then posted the rest of the conversation on Twitter, and it really doesn't change the narrative much, apart from adding that he wants to be left alone. At the time, I felt it was more than fair that I show an example of Ivory having a similar conversation with someone else, and how he wasn't affected by it as he claims he was with me. He still excused the guy, there was no call out post on him, and I think it was fair to question that, like why didn't he see a problem? Now, I understand I have a lot more reach and power, a much larger platform, but this document goes as far as to compare me to legitimate predators like Kiwis. Someone who sent and received nudes to a 14 year old girl, lied about it ever happening, and then his excuse was, don't trust girls. People fuck up like teenagers. Teenagers are stupid, man. And I'm fucking, I fucked up being, you know, it was really irresponsible. I shouldn't have trusted this girl. I shouldn't have. They also post a screenshot of Ida saying that I did this with everyone. There's this one part of the doc that claims that people make the mistake of not watching an entire video before they pass judgment. And this is like bitterly ironic. You make that claim, but you leave so much out of my original statement. It's written with like such cruel intentions and it waits until page 16 out of 19, only then to confirm that I never actually sent or received nudes. I like as well how they just hit it in the middle of that huge paragraph. It also tries to twist conversations like this one. You know, like claiming that this isn't part of the roleplay, but discussing the hypothetical of having sex with Ivory. No context, no conversation before, no conversation after. You're just meant to interpret this as 100% I wanted to have sex with him in person. This document probably never thought I'd actually respond to it piece by piece because you know, the, the majority of the messages, they're so fucking bad to look at. This document is cowardly. I mean, like, the ending is no exception. Like, they, they don't even definitively state if I groomed anyone. They just leave enough room for people. When Fire Snuggle means day, I think he means Turkey Tom because. Yeah. As Pyrocynical stated before, that he is not a groomer. And. This verdict is likely. Not proven that. Pyrocynical message somebody sexually, which I mentioned in the very last video of the last chapter about this about this accusation that Pyrocynical did not message Ivory sexually. I mean, Ivy's basic message can be legitimately proven to be true, which is not true, because, again, if it were true, then Pyro Sinico would have been gay himself, but he is not. And as he just mentioned, he is 100% completely straight. That's why he has his own girlfriend. people to draw that conclusion themselves without openly saying it. Even if this was made in good faith, it is a severe case of tunnel vision trying to right a perceived wrong. But I can't just sit here, you know, and let my name get tracked through the mud. On a side note, unrelated to this doc, I've actually seen screenshots circulating around of someone who drew like fan art of my Fox character back in 2016. I then apparently replied to them like jokingly saying not thick enough and then asking for their age and they said 15. So when people saw this, they instantly drew parallels to the grooming allegation. I asked them for a thick version and they drew this, which isn't even really that different from previous things they drew before even getting into contact with me. I didn't commission it. What was drawn wasn't pornographic. They'd drawn very similar stuff before and that there was no role play here, it was nothing. And the thing is, this wasn't even a call out post. The per so, about 
two weeks ago, right before this video came out. Turkey ton of a loaded video basically saying that Pyrozenko lie and he wants to set the record straight. When I watched that video, it crosses my mind as to why Turkey Tom would think that Pirates don't go line when his last Reddit statement was was true. He elaborated the same thing in his response video to Turkey Tom's incomplete and on unorthodox document. Against Turkey Tom, who was de was definitely on Ivory side this whole time. And I know why he would justify to believe in the victim. There, when I, where I come from, at least at this day and age, ever since the Me Too movement ever existed, I do not believe in the victims unless they have crucial evidence to prove. Unfortunately, unfortunately, neither of them do. And as much as I would likely disagree that Bill Cosby would be like assaulting these strong women who came forward which which I'm proud of them for but they could have done much better in my opinion to present evidence that could that could be truthful that Bill Cosby is a sexual predator. I would have not believed that because when you have actual crucial visual evidence, you basically have you basically actually have something to prove. What Turkey Tom did not do is actually have a crucial proof of evidence that goes along with Irie's claims and that's where this video comes in two weeks ago. He was very late to the uh, pyrocynical situation so I would assume that it would be just as bad because you know even though it still has a positive like to dislike ratio right now his last response, of course, it's almost up to 18k, and as of right now, it still has a positive like to dislike ratio. But hopefully, it will uh, it will uh, change because well, it needs it needs to change. It really, 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 really needs to change. So, in just about a little more. A moment now, I'm gonna bring you this video that uh, has some of the points that I may have not talked about or talked about earlier in, in this video, or at least drilling you with the last couple clips. Reported videos going over the topic. Most people were waiting until Pyro released a statement on the subject, which he did on Reddit on November 10th of 2020. Hey gamers, I would like to take this opportunity to address a false allegation recently made against me on Twitter. As some of you may have seen, it has been claimed back in 2016 when I was 19 years old that I groomed an individual who was 15 years old at the time. I want to set the record straight with you and share all the truth. The accusation is 100% false and incredibly irresistible. Responsible. This Reddit post would be a quick turning point for the allegations, amassing nearly 25,000 upvotes and quickly being spread across YouTube and Twitter. People rejoiced, claiming that Pyrocynical had quickly and swiftly disproved the allegations, making this a clear case of yet another YouTuber being falsely accused of something which they did not do. I tweeted out a link to the Reddit thread at the time, letting everyone know about what had happened. 
While my tweet itself was pretty neutral, most of the responses to it were anything but. Everyone quickly drew the conclusion that Pyro had redeemed himself and was cleared in the public eye. Simply a guy with some weird fetishes. This is untrue. It's hard to tell if most of these people read through his Reddit post, but Pyro didn't prove much of anything in it. His first move was to admit that the messages were real. Okay, well, no sweat. Sure, he's weird, but that doesn't mean he knew the age of Ivory at the time, right? He never once disclosed the fact that he was 15 at the time of these exchanges commenced. He didn't include his age in his bio until he was 16, but I was not on Twitter between 28th of December 2016 until the 29th of June 2017, as I was suspended. He also included a few posts from people across Twitter claiming that Ivory lied about their age. What Pyro was doing here is building a case that Ivory Rasmus is not a credible source, and therefore, he is not to be trusted. Smart move especially when you don't have anything else to swing back with. However, one quick look at Ivory's Twitter account from this time will reveal that he was very open about his age publicly on Twitter. I'm a 15-year-old shut in who checks his phone a lot, but I hate how little kids bring a desk's worth of tech everywhere if possible. Well, okay, that's just proof that Ivory set his age a lot on Twitter. He could have been lying in other places, right? Pyro said that he was suspended on Twitter before Ivory turned 16, at which point he had put his age in his bio. I can see why Pyro Cynical said this. It denies him of any culpability without needing solid proof. Was attaching a screen shots of a few random people who said that Ivory had lied about his age pretty low? Yeah, sure. Was it also kind of weird that one of those people apologized for their entire head head and deleted it? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, that's kind of off. Is it also weird that another one of them apologized for what they had said and retracted the statement he put? Surely he couldn't have known. And honestly, Pyro probably would have gotten away with this lie if his own girlfriend hadn't messaged Ivory in an emotional fit, victim blamed them, and admitted that everything was completely true. She even pointed to his age being younger than 15 and said that while the age gap was bad, she doesn't think that it constitutes grooming. And I agree completely, it may not constitute grooming. But what it does say is that Pyrocynical lied in his post. What is largely heralded as the greatest defense of Pyrocynical by himself and the entire community is incorrect. So without proof that Pyro knew they were underage, you couldn't say that he was purposely being inappropriate with a minor, let alone that it was grooming, or yet again, that it was actually Pyro. The best that Ivory had was Pyro's girlfriend, Ida, message him about it and although her messages were suspicious and really toxic it wasn't definitive proof that the messages were from pyro what are you saying not definitive proof did you even read the messages that you were showing on screen are you suggesting that pyro cynical's own girlfriend the woman who he has known for years and has been in this community for years became so angry that she made up a story about Pyro messaging Ivory and admitted to everything? She was so mad that she came out and said that it was all true, including that Pyro knew Ivory's age. He also links to screenshots of people that knew Ivory talking about how Ivory would lie about their age for role playing. And if you're lying to other people about your age, why wouldn't you lie to Pyro about it? You may find it interesting how prison mate Luke was so reluctant to believe the allegations that Ivory made based off of a few screenshots, but he immediately took a few screenshots that Pyro had in his foot longer, which, mind you, were not from Pyro, were not from Ivory, were not from anyone Pyro Cynical knew, but were random people who came out at the time to accuse Ivory Rasmus of lying, and later apologized for making these accusations. And if he had actually read through all of the leaked messages from Ivory, which Pyro Cynical himself said were real, he would see an instance when Ivory said that he was a minor. And even if you want to say that Pyro didn't lie, and this is not convincing enough for you by some miracle, fine, I get that. But he didn't even ask their age? Why why wouldn't a YouTuber with millions of subscribers who is an adult, 19 years old, ask some random person they are messaging on Discord about inhaling each other's farts or their age? Pro Jared, someone who was vindicated prior to Pyro for his own accusations, was let off because he was actively lied to about the ages of who he was talking to. Pyro Cynical likely knew Ivory's age and that's just fine to you? I don't know anyone who would justify an age gap of a 19 year old and a 15 year old videos going over the topic. Most people were waiting until Pyro released a statement on the subject, which he did on Reddit on November 10th of 2020. Hey gamers, I would like to take this opportunity to address a false allegation recently made against me on Twitter. As some of you may have seen, it has been claimed back in 2016 when I was 19 years old that I groomed an individual who was 15 years old at the time. I want to set the record straight with you and share all the truth. The accusation is 100% false and incredibly irresponsible. This Reddit post would be a quick turning point for the allegations, amassing nearly 25,000 upvotes and quickly being spread across YouTube and Twitter. People rejoiced, claiming that Pyrocynical had quickly and swiftly disproved the allegations. 
making this a clear case of yet another YouTuber being falsely accused of something which they did not do. I tweeted out a link to the Reddit thread at the time, letting everyone know about what had happened. And while my tweet itself was pretty unusual, most of the responses to it were anything but. Everyone quickly drew the conclusion that Pyro had redeemed himself and was cleared in the public eye. Simply a guy with some weird fetishes. This is untrue. It's hard to tell if most of these people read through his Reddit post, but Pyro didn't prove much of anything in it. His first move was to admit that the messages were real. Okay, well, no sweat. Sure, he's weird, but that doesn't mean he knew the age of Ivory at the time, right? He never once disclosed the fact that he was 15 at the time of these exchanges commence. He didn't include his age in his bio until he was 16, but I was not on Twitter between 28th and December 2016 until the 29th of June 2017, as I was suspended. He also included a few posts from people across Twitter claiming that Ivory lied about their age. What Pyro was doing here is building a case that Ivory Rasmus is not a credible source, and therefore, he is not to be trusted. Smart move, especially when you don't have anything else to swing back with. However, one quick look at Ivory's Twitter account from this time will reveal that he was very open about his age publicly on Twitter. I'm a 15-year-old shut-in who checks his phone a lot, but I hate how little kids bring a desk's worth of tech everywhere if possible. Well, okay, that's just proof that Ivory said his age a lot on Twitter. He could have been lying in other places, right? Pyro said that he was suspended on Twitter before Ivory turned 16, at which point he had put his age in his bio. I can see why Pyro Syndical said this. It denies him of any culpability without needing solid proof. Was attaching screenshots of a few random people who said that Ivory had lied about his age pretty low? Yeah, sure. Was it also kind of weird that one of those people apologized for their entire head ed and deleted it? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, that's kind of off. Is it also weird that another one of them apologized for what they had said and retracted the statement? But surely he couldn't have known. And honestly, Pyro probably would have gotten away with this lie if his own girlfriend hadn't messaged Ivory in an emotional fit, victim blamed them, and admitted that everything was completely true. She even pointed to his age being younger than 15 and said that while the age gap was bad, she doesn't think that it constitutes grooming. And I agree completely. It may not constitute grooming. But what it does say is that Pyrocynical lied in his post. What is largely heralded as the greatest defense of Pyrocynical by himself and the entire community is incorrect. But without proof that Pyro knew they were underage, you couldn't say that he was purposely being inappropriate with a minor, let alone that it was grooming, or yet again, that it was actually Pyro. The best that Ivory had was Pyro's girlfriend, Pyder, messaging him about it. And although her messages were suspicious and really toxic, it wasn't definitive proof that the messages were from Pyro. What are you say not definitive proof did you even read the messages that you were showing on screen are you suggesting that pyro cynical's own girlfriend the woman who he has known for years and has been in this community for years became so angry that she made up a story about pyro messaging ivory and admitted to everything she was so mad that she came out and said that it was all true including the pyro knew ivory's age he also links to screenshots of people that knew ivory talking about how ivory would lie about their age for role playing and if you're lying to other people about your age why wouldn't you lie to pyro about it you may find it interesting how prison mate luke was so reluctant to believe the allegations that ivory made based off of a few screenshots but he immediately took a few screenshots that Pyro had in his twit longer, which, mind you, were not from Pyro, were not from Ivory, were not from anyone Pyro Cynical knew, but were random people who came out at the time to accuse Ivory Rasmus of lying, and later apologized for making these accusations. And if he had actually read through all of the leaked messages from Ivory, which Pyro Cynical himself said were real, he would see an instance when Ivory said that he was a minor. And even if you want to say that Pyro didn't lie, and this is not convincing enough for you by some miracle, fine, I get that. But he didn't even ask their age. Why why wouldn't a YouTuber with millions of subscribers, who is an adult, 19 years old, ask some random person they are messaging on Discord about inhaling each other's farts or their age? Pro Jared, someone who is vindicated prior to Pyro for his own accusations, was let off because he was actively lied to about the ages of who he was talking to. Pyro Cynical likely knew Ivory's age and that's just fine to you? I don't know anyone who would justify an age gap of a 19 year old and a 15 year old Judging from <clears throat> from the from two tweets that Turkey Tom made ten days prior to from ten days later to ten days earlier. A lot of people. I now have ratioed this tweet, which says that our prime cynical is now circulating fake screenshots claiming them to be evidence. 
you can clearly see here that these are not the same stream account. The Reddit is a fucking trash fire. And a lot of people have turned on Turkey Talk. And uh, now, I have to mention this because the lyrics I have found happen to be from a song that Michael Jackson, I think, who I think uh, was singing. Uh, lyrics. And I found a video titled Beat It Turkey Tom, and that video had Michael Jackson's lyrics because I think some people who commented on Turkey Tom's video, which I think was the previous one, the new leaks, have uh, called out Turkey Tom for necessarily being uh, a groomer, I think, or a liar. I mean, I don't, I don't know if, if that made sense to type the Michael Jackson lyrics, even though I don't think Michael Jackson is a child groomer. It is exceptional because Turkey Tom did a bad thing. But I'll read these tweets first, which says, Hey Tom, how does it feel to be proven wrong? I always knew you were up to trouble when you made those videos about the animation challenge. But now with Pyro, all I can do is smirk. This person says, why does the commentary community always have to jump at the gun? And then realize they do, and then overcorrect to fuck up everything even more. And then fuckers like just stop have the audacity to make a video criticizing it, only to be part of what, what's fucking up everything to begin with. This whole situation was handled horribly. People initially dismissed Ivory as a cloud chaser, and then everybody completely switched sides. I'll admit that I got caught up in the anti pyro stuff after just Up's first video. Agreed. Fucker might be a harsh descriptor, but like this was most likely avoidable. Swilly and fancy some treated. Quit can't wait for your apology to Pyro. And that's all I'm gonna give you the context to read because that is what uh Turkey Tom Initially, he is doing. Recording this on Sunday now. The Pirates and Files plus New Leaks video from Turkey Tom has gotten even amount of dislikes now since the last time I disliked it after. I liked it last time, thinking that it was true, but but I then changed my mind when it, when I knew Pyrus Uncle was telling the truth. Apart from the fact that he met once again, that he should have asked for Ivory's age, and he didn't, and he admitted to it. That's the only thing that was talked about that he should have and that he should have asked for Iris age and he admitted that everything else of course it's false which is why the comments 
as of 18 plus hours ago have repeated the same lyrics that I think Michael Jackson uh, sang the song to. I highly don't believe, once again, I have to say this again, I highly don't believe that Michael Jackson is a child groomer. I mean, I think some people at the time said that when they were just trying to ruin his career. And I think that's what led to to Michael Jackson uh, taking the route to overdose himself when a certain somebody actually gave him one of those pills to overdose to overdose on. But that's for another video for another day, at least. I just wanna bring Michael Jackson up and explain my side of story my side of my reasons why as to why the uh, lyrics are up and on, on top on Turkey Tom's comment section is because it's because it's a reference to Turkey Tom that he should beat it. He, he should just beat it. And that they don't want to ever see his face. And he better disappear. And that's basically why everybody has commented these lyrics just like they did on social media. That's how I figured this whole thing out here. And yeah, I do think that if Turkey Tom hides away like a little crybaby, which he probably is doing right now, because he's probably making a response video, then it is clear that he fucked up and uh, he should never do anything like this again. Because trying to believe the victim, in my opinion, is just horribly wrong. Although he has his intentions to believe in the, in the victim, I do not have the cold hard agendas to believe in any victim unless they presented cold hard evidence, which neither of that happened in this video. Turkey Tom did not really do anything to help Pyrocynical but tried to deframe him when he made the document right before he made the video. That is basically why uh, Iris Uncle had to completely destroy all of Turkey Tom's document. Even though I hate Turkey Tom for like trying to jump into conclusions this this fast about Pyrocynical and disagreeing with him on by trying to protect Ivory and Ivory's image quote unquote image. I do not hate him because, well, first off, he lives in a state, he lives in the same state as I do, however, I was born in Lansing, Michigan, and he was born in Boston, which, which, 
Back in the day, I used to live in South Boston before I moved to Gloucester. Back in the day, I used to live in South Boston, like August 2008, before I moved to Gloucester in about May 2009. And when I found out that he was from here, I said this to myself and said, you know what, this makes sense. This makes this makes a lot of sense. He looks like the type of guy who has a Boston accent. And of course he was very young at the time. I think he was like Like what, 17, 17, 18 at the time? I think he was. I think he was 18 at the time, like last year. And you know what? I have no issue with Turkey Tom because he lives in the state, same, same state as I do. I do have an issue with him because of the bad he wanted everybody to believe in Irie's story about reading about really really looking further into the so-called evidence quote-unquote evidence that Ivory has presented and the fact that Turkey Tom presented a poor amount of the so-called evidence. Really doesn't add up to Ivory's story. Because, of course, how could Pyrocycle have seen it? As he mentioned before, he couldn't have because he wasn't on Twitter at the time. I mean, there is no excuse in the fact that he didn't ask for Ivy's age. There is an excuse that he needs to take a social media break. And you know what? That happens to the best of us. And I don't think Turkey Tom ever realized that. So now, apart from all the hate Turkey Tom's getting, which is why he's losing more subscribers and he's losing more Twitter followers because nobody followed him on Twitter for obvious reasons. You know, because his name is Tef T on Twitter. And so he does not want to lose all his following. But I wish he did to actually teach him a lesson. There is something that I would like to point out. And that is the fact that responsible on Turkey Tom for doing this. He had the courage to ruin Pyrocynical's career. Although he's still a bit young, he has a lot more work to do. And I kind of fear that one day that he will never really learn his lessons as he gets older because his brain is not fully developed until the age of 25. And for, for example, I turned 25 over a month ago, which is about what? A month and almost 10 days.
Yeah, a month ago. Yeah, I turned about 25 years old in about a month and almost 10 days ago. Which would be November 13th. From a month and almost 10 days ago. And I pretty much know a little bit of things that, for one, you're not supposed to always believe in victim. When you, whoever you claim that they have the evidence, or, or they have the evidence, even though the victim does not have the full evidence. And I think Turkey Tom made it worse be, because, well, as I said in my last final chapter video that Ivory did not really talk to Pyrocynical directly as Pyrocynical himself stated that he did not talk to Ivory directly had he actually talked to Ivory directly then this would have been all voidable a long time ago but he didn't and that's where Turkey Tongue missed all of that he took everything from Doki from from Twitter that supposedly had all of Irie's evidence, which completely twisted a narrative to cancel Pyrus Uncle forever, which I hate I hate really hate to see that. And on that Turkey Tom gets the the reverse pill is bittersweet. And I'm sorry for saying it's very sweet, Tom, if you're watching this, but you were crossing the line a little bit too much. I mean, you're lucky that that Santa Claus is going to tell you straight to your face right now, because I was this close to to meaning you one day to actually kick you kicking you in the balls. It, 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 and it's a good thing Santa Claus is here, so I am not going to do any of that. But here is his message. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! I hear that Thomas, aka Turkey Tom, has been doing some naughty things this year. What naughty things you might ask my children? Well, it is blaming a British co commentary YouTuber, Nate Hyrocynical, aka Niall Comas, and it appears that Thomas has made some dis disturbing lies about her simple. After making some tweets, after making some tweets about her simple, Thomas got a lot of backlash. And I know his Twitter account is salty because of, of the last time this happened when he was in a different situation. Everybody here got angry at Turkey Tom. For all the right reasons. Right here on Twitter and on a video that he made against Pyrocynical. All I have to say this, Thomas, is that you've been a very naughty boy. And for this Christmas only, because we are in a pandemic after all, I have no choice but to safely and socially distance 
giving you coal. I to safely give you coal because you tried to ruin another man's career without providing real proof. If you want to claim that Fire Circle was a groomer or a pedophile, you could have just found more evidence instead of finding the least amount of evidence that don't even back up Ivory's claims. Which, by the way, Ivory Erasmus in my in the next video after this, will also get called on his stocking because he's shouldn't even be for sending the evidence this late in the first place. Especially now that we are in a pandemic. I'm sorry, Thomas. But you will not be receiving presents this year. Oh, oh, oh. Merry Christmas to all and to all good night.